Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning into another Super Tease video. And in this one, I'm going to be going over the retail version of the game, more importantly, the Shadowlands pre patch, and whether or not it's worth it. Uh, to play at the moment moving into Shadowlands. Go over some of the pros and the cons and what you should really expect. So let's just talk about the pros here to begin with, which is class abilities returning, unpruning, feels amazing across the board on all classes. This is something that I think at least veteran players have been waiting for for a very long time, especially in PvP. Um, and this is very refreshing and super amazing to see and awesome to interact with. There's obviously still time to farm limited edition transmogs, limited edition mounts if you're interested in that. And probably the biggest highlight was the revamped leveling. So if you want to get some new classes or some new race class combinations to max level for Shadowlands, the new leveling experience is very smooth. It's very streamlined comparatively in to in the past. Like I went through the trial, the island to trial, I forgot the name of it, the trials island, really well done. Uh, and then going to chromey time walking and leveling through your expansion of your choice. Or if you're new new player entirely, you'll have to go through Battle for Azeroth's campaign. But it is very smooth, great experience, and I'm very happy to see all of the abilities unpruned. The main downside at the moment uh, for the pre-patch is that once you've gotten max level, which is streamlined, you've got this new character with returned abilities that you're ready to test out and start having a good time, the main problem that you're going to encounter, at least I did, and this isn't talking about my main classes, right? Like on my Druid, I'm having a blast. I've got full 130 item level mythic gear, same thing for my Demon Hunter, and I'm smashing random battlegrounds, and I'm really enjoying having all my spell backs and, and seeing how it interacts with my essences, and that's really great. But I was, I was excited about being able to try out some other classes too. And for a lot of my characters, like my warrior here, um, if you're a new max level character, you're probably in the same boat as my warrior around 60 item level to 70 item level. It is incredibly painful and somewhat confusing to figure out where you need to go to get what, right? So one of the main features of Shadowlands was going to be the PVP vendors and being able to buy PVP gear. And they introduced a honor vendor in Orgrimmar. Now, to my understanding, the main purpose of this vendor is to be able to give you your medallion because you'll notice my medallion is no longer a PVP talent. So the main purpose is to come here to Orgrimmar or in Stormwind uh, to the equivalent to buy your medallion. Like they sell it for gold. So the main purpose, I believe, for this vendor is to just give you your medallion back. But you'll notice immediately that the item level is dramatically underwhelming. I just said my druid is 130 item level. So for my druid to wear this trinket would be half of the item level in that trinket slot. Trinket slot. And it kind of... If this is what's going to be the honor vendor at max level, which I'm hoping that it's not, and I'm not saying 100% that it's going to be, but it's going to be basically useless. Like the amount of time it would take me on this warrior, for example, which also to note PVP scaling is removed. Weigh the pros and cons of that. Does it make sense that you have better gear and you get to do a lot of damage because of it? Sure. But I think that there should be a way to get gear because right now, if I join a random battleground on this character, this is what I have to look forward to. I'm going to go into a random battleground. I'm going to get crushed, stomped. Like, I have 8,000 health, and most players have 20,000 plus. I'm not even half of a geared player. I'm going to get stomped on. I'm going to be useless. It's going to be really painful. And then this is the gear that I have to look forward to. It's basically like I'm going to queue random battlegrounds to be fodder for geared players, and that's it. There, There's no reason for me... Uh, to do this and I'm a bit worried that that means that this is going to be similar to max level in Shadowlands um, and it's just generally confusing on how to get gear if I queue a battleground I'm going to get stomped I'm going to have no fun I, if you've just in max level you're not going to have any essences you may not even know that they exist you're going to need to go and unlock your cloak through the quest campaign um, and now obviously as me being a current player i understand that path that i can go through that get my neck start working on my essences for echoes of nihilotha if you haven't you're gonna have to do all the prerequisites for that and essences are very important in the pre-patch um, things like crucible of flame and pvp are doing a huge amount of damage reaping flame if you don't have these and you're fighting players that do you're at a huge disadvantage so you need to spend all of this time catching up these essences 
and you have no foreseeable gear path because if I do the content available to me in the world, I'm going to be getting 65 item level gear. It's just painstakingly slow. I'm not sure why in the pre-patch they haven't increased the item level on these world rewards um, at all because it, it's very difficult to get into the game where all of the other players are. I can't find groups for Mythic Zeros, which is only 85 item level, which is still 130 from a fully geared player to 85. Seems really dramatic. Now, I think they were supposed to put an event in, uh, which I think was 100 item level. That's okay. And then that would work. And I would have something to, that I could do on my own to sort of get my character playable. So maybe I can do some ranked arenas to get better gear or get into the heroic raid to get some better gear. But to get my character to a point where I think that I can play it at the moment, I would have to be carried. So I sure I could make some friends and they could carry me or I could pay some gold and I could get carried. But it, it feels really kind of just like hollow, like I'm leeching off people to get them to give me gear or I have to pay for them. And it's a really awful feeling. So I'm hopefully I'm hoping sooner than later they put that event into the pre patch. Um, to get that 100 item level gear, then your path to go through unlocking your essences in your cloak, it'll take a while. It's it's kind of painful, but it's straightforward. And then you've got something that you can grind for gear to get into the content of the game, because right now that's the biggest drawback for me. And I've seen this on some other streamers as well who are coming back to the game, unless they're one of the fully good st geared streamers that are just completely benefiting from PVP scaling being removed and stomping on people. But I think this is a big problem at the moment and the only thing i can think of is that they don't want to do that scourge event which is where this hundred item level gear would come from because it's going to cause chaos in the world right people are going to turn into ghouls it's going to kill auction house people because the expansion got delayed this is the only thing i can see right is that they didn't want that chaos for the entirety of the time from whenever the expansion is going to come out so maybe they're going to delay it but in my mind, they should do just a minor convenience upgrade would be to make world quest rewards a higher item level, make random battlegrounds a higher item level, get up to like a normal Nihilotha level of items so you can do it on your own and then join groups with people for heroic Nihilotha and join groups for people for some ranked arenas and not be half of the value of the, all the geared players because it's just like... You feel hopeless. You'll log in, you'll go to the cosmetics, you'll be super excited to try out all these different combinations of character customizations. And then when you get set to play, it's like, oh, I I need to get carried by you. I'm, my gear's too bad, or I, I've got to spend gold to get carried through this to get gear to start playing. And then like it, it's just not a good feeling. I would really like to see the item levels on like this honor gear vendor increased, world quest rewards going up here. It's the pre-patch, the expansion's over. At least allow us to get gear that's serviceable right like i'm still gonna get owned 100 item level to 130 i'm just not gonna die in one trinket pop with pvp scaling seemingly gone at this point so that would at least help me get into the other stuff that i can do that those players already did without feeling like i have to buy into it uh, and then everybody can get to that same point and feel like they're all playing the game in the same point rather than right now where you join a random battleground, you get stomped, and then you're like, oh, let's, I'm going to log out. And all I'm doing is quests for 65 item level gear. It just feels really bad for alts. I think this would feel really bad for new players. And it's just not a good feeling to feel like you have to buy your way into participating. I don't mean smashing and dominating. I mean actually participating uh, in some of the rating content and some of the ranked PvP content and even some of just the casual content. Um, it, it left me kind of feeling hopeless a little bit with it. And that was the main downside for the pre-patch. So hopefully sooner than later, they'll get that event out um, with 100 item level gear. But I would really like them to just increase the base. At, at any item level, world quest stuff's 100, PvP stuff's uh, random battlegrounds is 100. So I don't feel like I'm going to join random battlegrounds to get pooped on for no reason. That would be my main criticisms for the pre-patches. At the moment, if you want to come back and get your character playable, like you're like me and you don't have a geared character, you may want to wait because um, I believe when you purchase Shadowlands, you get some free game time maybe, at least when you buy the Epic Edition. So if you don't want to waste that game time, you may honestly want to wait until the event actually starts, the Scourge event, which hasn't, and so you can get that gear. So you feel like you have something that's attainable without having to buy your way in. That was the main downside. There are a, a lot of positives, um, but because this period between the pre-patch and the expansion could be large, 
I really think they should make some quality of life decisions here on being able to get some you know, decent gear, 100 item level gear on your own. And that's basically it for the pre-patch. If you're decked out, you want to get some alts going, you want to get some max level characters, it's going to be a good time, like I said, with all those pros at the front. But if you want to start participating in some of the end game stuff, it's really difficult to get into and you may want to wait until the Scourge event. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.